Hello, my name is Joshua Brown for the Interview Training Company, howtobecome.com, and in this presentation, I will teach you how to pass your Amtrak interview. So if you have a train operating company interview coming up for Amtrak and you need to prepare for both the most common and tough behavioral interview questions for any role at Amtrak, then please make sure you watch this video from start to finish because I'm gonna help you to stand out and succeed. To achieve that goal, this is what I'll cover. I'll start off by giving you a list of Amtrak interview questions that I strongly recommend you prepare for. I'll also provide you example high scoring answers to those questions to help to succeed. Plus, I'll also make sure to give you some essential tips for passing your Amtrak interview before finally telling you how you can download further resources, including all of the answers to help you to prepare. And just very quickly, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I want to help you to pass your Amtrak interview. And I can only do that if you are subscribed. And please don't forget to hit that like button as that encourages me to make more tutorials just like this one. Okay, let's take a look at that first Amtrak interview question to prepare for, which is what skills do you have which you believe are relevant to the position that you are applying for? Now, the job description is your blueprint for success when answering this tough question. So make sure you match the skills that they list on that job description to your own skills and qualities. That's really important. So for example, if on the job description they say they're looking for someone who's customer focused or safety focused, then be sure to demonstrate that you have have those skills throughout your interview answers. Now in the rail industry, there are some key qualities that the hiring manager will want to hear that you have. Excellent customer service skills. They want to know that you have great attention to detail, that you're a team worker and you can collaborate well, that you're organized and you're safety focused. So here is a brilliant top scoring answer to help you. What skills do you have which you believe are relevant to the position you are applying for? When I read the job description, I immediately felt that this role was an ideal match for the required skills and experience that I already possess. For example, Amtrak's commitment to delivering high standards of customer service at all times is something that I have plenty of experience in. I have strong communication and interpersonal skills, which I believe are essential in any customer facing position. I'm confident in my ability to engage well with passengers and colleagues, and I'm always searching for ways to make sure that everyone I come into contact with has a great and memorable experience. In previous roles, I've always put the customer's needs at the forefront of everything that I do, and I know the better experience that the customer has with Amtrak, the more job satisfaction I will get. I'm also an experienced team player and understand that the role I would undertake, it is vital that the services run efficiently. So I would always ensure that the work I carried out would be to the highest standards and to the correct procedure. I have a strong work ethic and a dedication to delivering high quality solutions. I have a proven track record of achieving or exceeding goals and I'm proud of my ability to stay organized and focused even in fast paced and challenging circumstances. I am a safety conscious person and I fully understand that in the rail industry, safety is a top priority of both the customers and staff and following the correct rules and procedures is critical. Finally, I'm a quick learner who is not hesitant to take on new tasks. I am motivated to learn and progress within the firm and I'm confident in my ability to adapt quickly to new duties and processes. So the main things I'll bring to the company are customer focus, teamwork skills, safety awareness and excellent communication abilities. Wow, that is a really impressive answer and that's gonna grab the hiring manager's attention and score you full marks at your interview. Let's take a look at the next Amtrak interview question, which is, tell me about a time when you worked as part of a team to complete a challenging task. Now, this is a behavioral interview question and you are gonna get asked plenty of behavioral interview questions at your Amtrak interview. And I've got a few of them throughout this tutorial, so please make sure you take note and stay tuned. Now, when answering this question in particular, at Amtrak, you will regularly face challenges as a team and you'll be expected to handle each challenge in a positive, forward thinking and collaborative manner. So you need to get that across in your interview answer. And my advice is to structure your answer using the STAR method. So when you answer any tough behavioral interview question like this one, so a question that's tell me about a time or describe a time when, those style of questions, you need to use the STAR technique or the STAR method. So STAR stands for S for situation, what was the situation you found yourself in? T is for task. What was the task that needed to be carried out? A is for action. What action did you take to achieve the task? And R is for result. What was the end result following your actions? Now it's important to note, as I said, Amtrak uses the STAR technique to mark answers to behavioral interview questions. So please take note of the following answer and how it is structured. Here we go. 
Tell me about a time when you worked as part of a team to complete a challenging task. In my previous employment, my team was tasked with coordinating the yearly charity event in aid of the company's chosen charity. In previous years, the finance team had taken responsibility for the event. However, this year, this had not been possible. So it fell to my team to take on this new challenge. Despite none of us having fundraising experience, I saw this as a fantastic opportunity to demonstrate my organisational skills. It was our task to decide what form the charity event would take, as well as when and where it would take place. I took it upon myself to schedule a team discussion to navigate the logistics of the event. As a team, we mind mapped ideas and collectively decided on a bake sale. Because each of us on the team was willing to bake and donate a large cake, we would not need to spend company money on supplies. This meant a larger sum of money could be donated. In order to maximise how much money we could make, I suggested we make the decision to host the sale over the office lunch break. Thanks to our collective efforts as a team, we were able to raise over $800 for a worthwhile charity. Upon receiving our donation, our company received a letter of appreciation personally written by the charity's chairman. Okay, we'll take a look at other Amtrak behavioural interview questions later on in this video using the STAR method. But before we do so, we're going to take a look at some really common Amtrak interview questions. And just very very quickly, don't go anywhere as I still have those common interview questions and behavioural interview questions to give you. But when you're ready, click that link in the top right hand corner. It will take you through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can download my 40 Amtrak interview questions and answers for all job roles to give you the edge in your interview, including the ones we're covering right now. Okay, here's the next interview question for you. How do you deal with a difficult or frustrated customer? What would you consider when dealing with them and why? Now, dealing with difficult customers is a reality many employees face. The hiring manager at Amtrak will want to know that you will remain calm and professional and represent their company in a positive light at all times. That's really important because Amtrak has a fantastic reputation and is known for their excellent customer service. So it's therefore essential to demonstrate that you will not be reactive or respond negatively. Instead, show that you have good customer service and communication skills and that you are aware that you're representing their company and can follow their policies. So here's a great example answer to help you. How do you deal with a difficult or frustrated customer? What would you consider when dealing with them and why? Working at Amtrak requires excellent customer service and I understand that to deliver outstanding service, there will be times when I'll have to resolve complaints positively. When dealing with frustrated customers, I'm always conscious to remain calm. I'm aware that being frustrated or having an unprofessional manner back will reflect negatively on the brand as well as escalate the situation further. Instead, I'd listen carefully to the customer's concerns so that I could fix the problem and find a solution. I'd smile and retain a bright and pleasant demeanour since I feel this would help ease whatever concerns the customer may be having. If a customer approached me and they were unsatisfied with a product or service, I would politely ask what they disliked about it and what could be done to resolve the issue for them. I'd pay great attention to the customer throughout and display strong listening skills such as nodding to show that I understand and I would express empathy if needed. I'd start to work on addressing the issue as soon as possible and inform them that I'd assumed responsibility for the situation and that I would make sure it was rectified. I would always follow my training and the company's refund, exchange and other policies when dealing with a customer complaint. And I believe I would love this since I find it rewarding to resolve difficulties and turn complaints into positive outcomes. Throughout my time dealing with the situation, if there was anything I wasn't sure about, I'd approach my supervisor or line manager for clarification. Now that's a really, really good answer to that interview question. Now let's move on to the next Amtrak interview question, which is what do you know about Amtrak as an organisation? So you must showcase that you've done plenty of research about the company. Take a look at Amtrak's website and their About Us page, their latest news stories and their social media channels. Impress the hiring manager by sharing facts about the company. This shows that you truly care about the company and you're not just interested in a paycheck. So here's a great example answer to help you. What do you know about Amtrak as an organisation? Firstly, as a user of your services, I know firsthand the excellent customer service your staff provide, which really appeals to me. Before applying, I conducted plenty of research into Amtrak to ensure the company is the right fit for me. 
Amtrak is one of America's largest rail companies with over 17,100 employees with routes totaling over 21,000 miles, more than 500 destinations which cover 46 states, the District of Columbia and three Canadian provinces. Amtrak operates around 300 trains each day which are capable of speeds of up to 150 miles per hour. The organisation has three core values, do the right thing, put customers first and excel together which demonstrate your principles and beliefs and what is expected of employees. Amtrak also takes its environmental commitment seriously. You've reduced your greenhouse gas emissions by 20% in 9 years and I read that you aim to reduce this by a further 40% in the next 10 years. The organisation has also partnered with partners such as Carbon Fund which aims to help customers transition to passenger rail whom otherwise may use more damaging modes of transportation. If I'm successful with my application, I will also demonstrate the same commitment and professionalism to the community and customers. Okay, the next common Amtrak interview style question is, do you think safety is important within the transport industry? Now, being a safety focused employee is essential for working in the rail and transport industry. Therefore, you must show that you can follow rules and procedures and that you would never compromise safety. Show that you understand the importance of safety, its impact, how you always follow rules and procedures and demonstrate that you've been doing so in previous job roles. So here's a great example answer to help you. Do you think safety is important within the transport industry? Absolutely. Safety is the most important aspect of the industry and is there to protect passengers, staff and the general public. It is vital that any company providing transport services has a thorough safety policy and ensures that all members of staff adhere to this at all times. Failure to follow safety policies can result in serious risk to someone and could have a far-reaching effect on the organisation. I fully understand that Amtrak operates in an industry that requires that all members of staff adhere strictly to all safety policies and procedures. I come from a background which required me to work to strict safety policies and guidelines and if successful you could always rely on me to not only follow procedures but also ensure that others around me also adhere to company policy. Okay let's take a look at a behavioural question now. Describe a stressful situation at work and how you handled it. Here are my three tips for answering this question. Tip number one, describe a situation that shows you're a determined, positive and resilient person. Tip number two, make sure your answer shows that you put the needs of the team first. And finally, tip number three, show you're able to remain calm and that you're not afraid to tackle difficult situations. Again, make sure you structure your answer using the STAR technique. So here's an excellent example answer using the STAR method to help you. Describe a stressful situation at work and how you handled it. In my previous position, while working off-site, my colleague suffered a severe allergic reaction requiring urgent medical attention. She had been stung by a bee and quickly began to show symptoms of an anaphylactic reaction. I was aware of the time-sensitive nature of certain allergic reactions and therefore knew it was my task to act swiftly. Our off-site first aid kit contained an EpiPen, which I urgently got with her permission and I administered it. I then proceeded to call an ambulance to our location. Whilst on the phone with the emergency operators, I remained calm whilst closely monitoring my colleague until the emergency services arrived. I then accompanied her to hospital as I did not want her to be alone and it was clear that she was scared. As soon as it was possible, I contacted my place of work and explained the incident as well as her partner upon her request. Upon my colleague's return to work, she thanked me and expressed her gratitude for my calm and efficient management of the situation. My manager also praised me for my swift actions and my ability to remain calm under pressure. Now in preparation for your Amtrak interview, I also recommend you prepare answers to the following questions. How do you handle the stress of working in the role and all that comes with the job? Tell me about the time when you needed to communicate a difficult decision. What was the issue and what made the decision difficult? Why do you want to work for Amtrak? What is your biggest weakness? What are your main strengths that will help you to be competent in this role? Describe a time when you disagreed with a co-worker. Tell me the three main things you would bring to the role if successful. How do you deal with conflict with a co-worker? As you're aware, this role is extremely demanding and challenging. Tell me about a situation when you worked hard to achieve a difficult task whilst under pressure. Tell me about a time when you had to complete a task within a certain time frame. Are you aware of the Amtrak's company values and can you tell me about them? Describe a situation when you delivered excellent customer service. Can you describe a time when you demonstrated flexibility in the workplace? 
Please provide an example of the types of procedures that you adhere to within your working day currently. Tell me about yourself and why you're a great fit for Amtrak. So the next thing to do if you'd like to download example answers to these and all of the toughest Amtrak style interview questions is to please make sure you click that button in the top right hand corner of this video right now. Head through to my website howtobecome.com where you can download these slides and get access to 40 Amtrak interview questions and high scoring answers to each question in a PDF guide. You can literally have access and the slides in your inbox within two minutes from now and it's guaranteed to help you prepare effectively for your interview and also more importantly put you ahead of the competition. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe as I'm on a mission to help as many people as possible pass their job interviews and I can only do that if you are subscribed. Please also hit that like button as that encourages me to make more videos just like this one and if you have any questions regarding any job interview with Amtrak then please let me know the name of the role in the comment section below so I can get back to you with even more advice and interview tips. And finally don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below. It's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best for your interview. Have a great day.